I'm here with the carefree queens, Nina on my right and Michelle on my left. Feeling carefree? No. <laughs> You've just uh, dropped two points, 2-2 two -two against Leverton. Yeah. No, we were feeling quite carefree as the last couple of weeks were building up, but I think today we've kind of hit another wall again. Although I do want to say for me the result doesn't necessarily, like for someone that maybe didn't watch the game, I wouldn't say it reflected exactly the performance because it wasn't great, it wasn't. Um, I expected a lot more and I think substitutions and other things kind of let us down but I do want to say that we did settle into the game or at least set up quite well you know we had Enzo someone who I thought was absolutely doing a fantastic job in that midfield you know he's someone who's very aware of his positioning and before he receives the ball he knows where he's releasing it to he knows where he's passing it into he knows where the free spaces are on the pitch and you know that was happening I thought Pulisic was doing a decent job he was um, getting involved in some uh, build up and even habits in the in the first 20-30 minutes but then it was kind of crushed short you know yeah we went 1-0 uh, up I thought Chile did a pretty good uh, job of contributing to that one he had a very similar kind of volley to what he did um, for his goal um against Leicester but I think it just kind of came crushing down when um, we conceded and I don't know if the right call was bringing Gallagher on when we were 1-0 down you know you've got Mudrick sitting on the bench a creative attacker who's just literally scored an offside goal and provided an assist in the last game and you bench him you know what's that doing to his self-esteem we brought him on to create to, to know to be threatening you know he can dribble in tight spaces he can cross he can do that you know why bring on Connor it's not that I don't like him I just don't think it was the correct decision in that moment of time and you know why do we play defensive football when we go up 1-0 against Everton and we know that we're very very uh, likely to concede and we did and it kept happening and we couldn't even hold that 2-1 lead after the penalty either and, and we were punished for it you know I've seen a lot of things about you know Kepa and Koulibaly being at fault but you know Koulibaly already had a yellow card I don't know how much he really wanted to risk potentially you know bringing the player down but again he did have good defensive moments as well you know that's why it's so hard because you know had that game been 2-1 we would have been sitting here absolutely putting praise on every single one of those defenders names but it's just when a, a mistake so sloppy happens and you you know you can see too it's such a shame that you've put on a, a good performance before that a lot of words not a lot of words for me to say from no. that but you know but what did you take from the game what did you take from the game do you know what I I don't even know I'm so baffled right now and I I just went through it all we were literally screaming from the top of our lungs, Nina and I. Like, I've never experienced joy at a Chelsea game like that before. Like, never. And I was like, this is it. This is it for me. I'm going to experience a win. I'm going to experience the joy. I'm going to come out here, hug all of you. It's going to be three points. And everything just dropped. Literally, I was just sat like this. Everything just went through me. And I was like, what the f just happened? I'm not going to swear. I know I can, but I'm not going to do it. Keep it like, PG today. Like, like Nina said, it's the smallest things. I actually thought Akulibali was good. I actually thought he was good. And it was what those last two minutes that is just going to crush for him. He he has stepped up. He has been a reliable. And I've said that before. But He's reliable means doing it week in, week out. Absolutely. Absolutely. But like like Charlie said, it was like what... It's the it's the fine mar markets, isn't it? Is that margins, how it? margins. Yeah, exactly. It's like the smallest things, and it's that's what that's what we do, isn't it? Like, we drop it to the smallest and dumbest mistakes. We were absolutely dominating this game. We were absolutely brilliant. Like Nina said, the the result doesn't reflect the game at all. We were really, really good. Everyone was putting in a shift. I asked Nina uh, during halftime, who who's even bad? Who is even doing a bad job? Everyone was putting in a shift. I was, I don't know why, but everyone was not that impressed with Christian. I was really impressed with him. I thought he did okay as well. Was, do you know what? Christian is creative. He's fast. Yes, he runs too far with the ball and he's been doing it for a lot of games. But today wasn't the one. Yeah, he had a few uh, mistakes, which you sh I don't think you should be criticizing that because he's been injured for quite a while as well. He was brilliant. He was such a good playmaker and he put in such a good shift. I don't I don't understand why you would criticize something like that because that was actually a decent shift and everyone put in a shift, didn't they? And then it just crumbles like it always does. 
Well, I mean, we've had a bit of luck over oh, the past few games. Oh, yeah, I know, games. but you know, for me, it's like, it crumbles. Whenever I'm here, it just crumbles. Maybe I should yeah. just stay I mean, For those stay of you away. who obviously <laughs> don't know Michelle, she flies over from Denmark for yeah. pretty much every game. So, uh, you know, it's not your typical home game. But No, and the thing is, the <laughs> thing is, then when I don't fly over, we're brilliant. We're absolutely brilliant. I stayed away three games. Those three games. Those three games, man. I was just... I was just living my life down in Tenerife, right? Because I went on vacation and everything came I did. I was like, cheers, cheers. This is fucking brilliant. I'm going to go to the brewery. Maybe you should go on holiday more often. Yeah, I should just leave and never come back, honestly. (laughs) We joked about that on the show as well. Like, it's a curse, isn't it? All right. So I'm going to just say a couple of names and I want you to give me a player rating, how they played, scale of one to ten. Kai Havertz. (sighs) Not consistent performance throughout the whole game, but decent. And compared to what we've seen in previous, I'm going to compare him to kind of last year and before the World Cup. I'd give him a fair kind of 6 out of 10, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it's more, for me, it's more like a 5 to 10 because for me, it was Christian that created it for him. Christian created it for Jao. What would we give Pulisic then? That's tough because he isn't consistent. Do you know what I mean? But purely on today, I'd rather give that a six, to be honest. I don't want to. I don't want to go through the roof with it. But I was impressed with it. Six it's improved. Six, yeah. What about you? Yeah, I'd say I'd say I agree with that. And I think uh, he does overplay it a little bit too much, especially when it kind of gets into that kind of final third area where he can look up and pass and potentially you know set someone up. He doesn't, and he loses the ball, and then that's when he kind of wastes his uh, good, fantastic dribbling up until that moment. Um, and then he obviously came off. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'd, I'd agree with uh, Michelle. Kepa? Kepa, I think I need to rewatch. Uh, obviously, the goal that everyone's saying that he's at fault for because I, I couldn't quite actually see um, his mistake in that position. But I think he did also make a save. Um, I think one of out of their probably three shots that they had um, today um, that he saved. So I don't know. I'd give him a decent. Six, seven, out of ten. That oh, seems quite it? generous, oh, to be fair, considering we conceded oh, two goals. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? No, I'll agree partly with Nina because where we were standing, it was kind of hard to see certain situations. Yeah. Um, All right. What about what about Zhao Felix then? Oh shit! That's a twelve out of ten. Twelve out of he, ten. No, I love him. Yeah, but I don't. No, I love him. I I don't even want to argue we're it. Not even he's, talking about. The, are we talking? About, what no, are we talking about? No. It's overall, he's just there. He's just. I believe that if you get a standing applause the way Felix did, when you get swapped off, I don't even know how to. I don't even know how to describe it because one third of the game I couldn't even see because I'm short and everyone's standing. I'm like, but he just, he's there. He scores. He's creative. He's fast. Yeah, sure. Every player has uh, has arrows, but overall, if you, I, I like him. Maybe twelve out of ten is. I'll give him a ten out of ten. Yeah, but I'm he's finished on that. Um, Thank you very brilliant. much. No, Thank no, you very no. Oh. Joao, Joao. No, can I just say about Joao Felix is that he has a fantastic impact on um, our attack. Whether he's scoring and whether he's assisting, that will come with time because he has been unlucky with it. However, he makes Kai Havertz look alive. He makes a lot of the other squad There's Todd Bowley. Time. Turn the camera. Turn oh, the camera. Todd. Todd Bowley. There he is. Todd Bowley. Yeah, can't really see that too well, but Todd Bowley just walked but past. No. I'm wondering what he's thinking. You know, when I said player rings, I literally was expecting one-word answers. Well, but, yeah. I mean, listen, I'm not going to complain. We're talkative, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, very, very talkative. Carefree queens. Oh, yeah. Carefree queens.